We are now into February and things are becoming a little bit more clear for Texas Tech men's basketball when it comes to their bracketology outlook. In today's video, we'll look at just that, the latest bracketology projections for the Red Raiders and why one region could pay huge dividends for the Red Raiders later on. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's R.C. Maxfield here for the Back to 12 podcast, reminding you, if you want to stay in the know on Texas Tech men's basketball all year long, all you have to do is three things. Like the video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell to join the most engaging Texas Tech community here on YouTube and the fastest growing. We're not too far away from five digits, people. Almost 10K here on the channel. If you want to be a part of the largest Texas Tech community here on YouTube as well, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, before we get into the latest bracketology outlook for the Red Raiders, I want to hear from you guys. Predict it. Texas Tech men's basketball will be a blank seed in the NCAA tournament. Now, there's been some talk, and we'll talk about it on the next video here on the channel, in terms of, oh, the Big 12 is overrated. I'm going to tell you right now, that's a bunch of bullshit, but I want to hear from you guys. What seed do you think the Red Raiders will get in the NCAA tournament? Let me know on the pinned comment down below. All right, let's look at the latest bracketology outlook. We look at three main sites, ESPN, Bracketville, and then we go to CBS Sports. We'll start with ESPN, where they have the Red Raiders as a seven seed in the East region facing up against the 10 seed St. Mary's. I can tell you right now, I would not like that. I don't want to play a team like St. Mary's who can shoot the lights out of it. That game would be an Indy. Now, the next one is Bracketville. They have the Red Raiders as a six seed in the South region. We will talk about the South region a little bit more here in just a second, but they have the Red Raiders matched up against a play in opponent. It would either be Michigan State or Providence. And if 2019 is any indication, Texas Tech men's basketball owns the state of Michigan. If you know, you know. Then CBS Sports actually has the Red Raiders on the four line, which was really surprising. Um, but Texas Tech, a four seed in the West region. They have the Red Raiders matched up against 13 seeded Akron up in Spokane. Now, when you look at this, I'm going to tell you right now, there is one region you want to be in if you're a Texas Tech fan, and it is abundantly clear it is the South region. The reason being is this. If you make it to the second weekend, which I know is not a you know given, I understand you have to win two games potentially to get there, um, you get to play in Dallas. That's a home away from home if you're the Red Raiders. That is home court advantage. As you might know, DFW – has the largest alumni base for Texas Tech in the world. You get it right there in downtown Dallas. You get a ton of Red Raiders to flood in and basically create a home court advantage for Texas Tech in the Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight if they were to win the Sweet 16 game. Now, I know a lot of things have to go right. I understand how the tournament works just as well as you do. But that is the region, in my opinion, you should be rooting Texas Tech to be in because if they do win their first two games, which, again, you got to have a lot of things go right if you're Texas Tech, just like any other team in the country, to win your first two games in the NCAA tournament, you get a major home court advantage just from the sheer fact of your, your largest alumni base is right there. That would be huge for Texas Tech. Now, next up for the Red Raiders to improve their resume, it's a game tomorrow. February 3rd um, at 5 p.m. against the Cincinnati Bearcats out in the 806. You can watch it on ESPN+. Plus. Now, if you look at everything in terms of how the Big 12 stands out, and this is really interesting to me because, again, tomorrow's video here on the channel, we'll talk about how some people in the national media that cover college basketball are saying that the Big 12 is overrated, and I think it's a good discussion, um, but I will say this. I wonder if that bias is going to lead into the committee. That being said, I don't think it will because I do think that the men's basketball in the Big 12 is the best conference in America. And truthfully, I don't think it's close. Um, some people would call me biased on that front, but there's a ton of metrics that back it up. Now, when you look at the outlook for the Big 12, this is how it currently stands right now. Going into this weekend, you got ESPN with nine bids, Bracketville with nine bids, and then CBS Sports has, well, Big 12 with eight bids. Eight bids, in my opinion, feels like a foregone conclusion. I, I would be absolutely dumbfounded if this conference does not get at least eight bids. I think the bias would leak in towards the coast, if you know what I mean. But this is clearly the best conference in America. They are beating the ever-loving you-know-what out of each other. 
every game, every game feels like, you know, at least a tournament game. And then there's sudden matchups. I mean, I look at that Kansas and Iowa State game. That felt like a Sweet 16, a lead eight, second weekend of the NCAA tournament type game at Hilton Coliseum last weekend. You think about other matchups in terms of, you know, Texas Tech going down to Texas, you know, T Houston against really almost anybody on the road at BYU. That felt like a second weekend type game. And this is just the norm in the Big 12. So eight feels like the baseline. Like that is the floor for me in terms of how many teams get into the tournament from the Big 12. Right now, it feels like the ceiling is probably double digits in terms of just strictly 10. I think you're probably not going to see Oklahoma State in there. In fact, I know you're not going to see Oklahoma State in there unless they just go on a miraculous run. Then you've got West Virginia. I don't think you're going to have West Virginia in there. I don't think you're going to have UCF. And now you start talking about a team like Cincinnati. Cincinnati is firmly on the bubble. Kansas State in that range as well. I think Kansas State does make it. I just think Jerome Tang just is a hell of a coach and gets his team in there. But you think about where the Big 12 is right now. Eight feels like the floor. 10 feels like the ceiling and nine is probably where they end up, if that makes sense. But you tell me on this front, the Big 12 conference will be a blank team bid league in the NCAA tournament. You think they go eight? You think they maybe go 11? You think Cincinnati's in there for sure? Maybe you just think it's 10, nine? Let me know down in the comments below how many teams from the Big 12 make the NCAA tournament. And before we head out of here one more time, let's look at it for Texas Tech purposes, because I know a lot of Texas Tech fans are watching this right now. ESPN has Texas Tech projected on the seven line in the East region facing up against St. Mary's and in Indy. Brackettville has Texas Tech in the South region, which again, that's where you want to be if you're the Red Raiders as a six seed facing off against a play-in team, whoever that may be, whether it's Michigan State, whether it's uh, Providence, those are the two teams right there. And then you have CBS Sports as a four seed for Texas Tech, the highest one that I've seen in terms of bracketology in the West region matched up against Akron out in Spokane. One more time, if you're a Texas Tech fan, I truly believe you want to see Texas Tech in the South region. Easier said than done. I understand. You just want to see Texas Tech in the tournament. But all things considered in terms of what region should we you know, prioritize wanting? South region. That's where you want to be if you're a Texas Tech fan. There's no doubt in my mind. Again, the Red Raiders will look to add to their resume with the matchup against Cincinnati on Saturday, February 3rd at 5 p.m. out in the USA, out at the USA, excuse me, in the 806. A really good Bearcats team, um, really about five possessions away from potentially being tied for first, tied for second in the Big 12. It's that good of a team, West Miller Scott. So Texas Tech is really going to need a bounce back win. And so will the Bearcats after they lost at West Virginia. I'm R.C. Maxfield reminding you one more time before we head out of here. Let me know Texas Tech will be a blank seed in the NCAA tournament. That'll be the pinned comment down below. And if you want to join the most engaging Texas Tech community here on YouTube and one of the fastest growing communities here on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button to stay in the know on Texas Tech men's basketball all year long right here on the Back to 12 podcast channel.